So unfortunately, although I personally love using full self-driving and full self-driving beta, I could not recommend it for $12,000 for somebody purchasing a new Tesla or even someone that's had their Tesla a while and is looking to upgrade. I just feel $12,000 is way too much. Well, the good news is Tesla has brought back enhanced autopilot, which now gives us some flexibility and options in what we can add to our Tesla and for what price. What's going on everybody? My name is Chris and I love using autopilot and full self-driving on my Tesla. And I'm here today to talk about enhanced autopilot, which was just recently brought back by Tesla for $6,000. Now, in my opinion, $6,000 is still decently expensive, but I think it may actually be worth the price for what you're getting in this software package. I think it's justifiable. It's still a lot of money and it's not something you'd probably just randomly pick up one day and be like, yeah, I guess I'll grab this. But if it's for you, I definitely think $6,000 is well spent. A couple of questions to ask yourself. Do you do a lot of highway driving? And do you like tech and trying new things? Well, if the answer to those are yes, then Enhanced Autopilot is most likely for you. So first of all, let's talk about exactly what the $6,000 Enhanced Autopilot option will get you on your Tesla. So it'll come, of course, with Traffic Aware Cruise Control and Auto Steer, that's standard on all Teslas as of today. And then Enhanced Autopilot gets you pretty much everything else, almost everything else. You have highway on ramp to off ramp. Now your car while using navigate on autopilot can pretty much do everything on ramp to off ramp. Of course, if there's edge cases, maybe like a ladder in the road or something like that, your car usually cannot handle those things. So you'll still be taking over. But if the roads are clear, it's actually a pretty normal thing for me these days to get on the highway, turn on autopilot, and do nothing until it gets to the off-ramp. The car will take the exit and then I'll take over there or use full self-driving beta. So navigate on autopilot, in my experience, is very good. Some people do experience some phantom braking or some weird behavior, maybe too many lane changes they don't enjoy, but a lot of that is customizable in the settings anyway. Uh, so this feature works really well. So that also includes the car suggesting lane changes. So if you have confirmations turned on, your car will basically say, hey, I wanna change lanes. Either that's because somebody in front of you is going slow or you have an exit coming up or something like that. The car will say, you should change lanes now, it'll give you a little ding. And then you can press the turn signal or the gear stock to confirm and then your car will make that lane change. You can also turn confirmations off. So all you have to do is keep a hand on the wheel and the car will make its lane changes for you if it's safe to do so when it wants to do that. The car is very good with lane changes. It's good with navigating other drivers around you for the most part. But again, on this system, it's considered level two. You're still paying attention and you do still have a hand on the wheel. Tesla has two main ways of making sure that you're paying attention. The number one thing that Tesla uses most often is having a hand on the wheel, just a little bit of torque on the wheel to uh, feel the weight of your hand on the wheel. And then the car will be happy with that and you can keep driving. And now in many cases, this will probably be more prominent in the future. The car will use the in-cabin camera that's by the rear view mirror to look at your eyes and make sure you're paying attention to the road. If you pick up a phone or something, it'll beep at you and say, please pay attention to the road. Or if you look away for too long or look down, it'll ask you to pay attention uh, and beep at you. And if you're not complying with those things, the car will turn on the hazard lights and safely slow to a stop within your lane. Now, the other things enhanced autopilot will include if you do purchase it, you get auto park, which basically the car can use its cameras to park in a parking spot, summon, the car can go forwards or backwards controlled via the app, smart summon, the car can find you in a parking lot anywhere you are for the most part within a certain distance. And again, controlled from the app, you're supposed to keep an eye on the car, but it does do a decent job. It's usually really slow. Um, but if you keep an eye on it, it's actually kind of fun to use sometimes. And that is everything you're getting with Enhanced Autopilot. If you want more details about exactly how the car does and what the car does, check out this video above. It is my full in-depth autopilot versus full self-driving where I talk a lot more in detail about all of these settings. And then also full self-driving, just so you know, what you will not get with Enhanced Autopilot is you won't get traffic light and stop sign control, meaning the car will not stop at red lights. It will not then continue from a stop at green lights. It will not stop at stop signs. And then for full self-driving, off the bat for the 12,000 and additional 6,000, that's really all you get. And that's why Enhanced Autopilot makes me really excited because you're getting a lot. You're getting pretty much everything Tesla has to offer for the most part as of today, as of the making of this video for your 6,000. If you spend that additional 6,000 and you do bump up to full self-driving, again, I really suggest that other video for the details, uh, but you get maybe a chance to be in the full self-driving beta and it'll stop at stop signs, um, which is neat, but not worth $6,000. Now, one interesting thought experiment here is you're spending six grand. Now, if you're buying a Tesla or you already own a Tesla, you spent a lot on the car. The, the lowest cost Tesla as of the making of this video is about $48,000 for the standard range Model 3. So that's a pretty significant chunk, $6,000 of that price. 
So what else could you get for $6,000? Is you can go from the long range to the performance for only $5,000. <laughs> so you're jumping up to the performance version for less than you're paying for enhanced autopilot. And so if that's your budget, if that's what it fits within, maybe that would be a better use of your money. It really depends on your driving style and what you want. Personally, I don't really think it's worth the money for the performance. Yes, it goes wicked fast and it's really fun, but bigger tires, worse range, it's just kind of not my thing. Although my wife and I did get a launch in a Plaid, which is insane. If you want to see her reaction, Check this out. Brought to you by Omaze. So thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. And I'm, I'm do it. scared. I'm really scared. I'm terrified. Omaze has created a fundraising platform for a new generation of donors who can win once in a lifetime prizes. With Omaze, you can enter for your chance to win a Tesla Model S Plaid Apex upgraded by Unplugged Performance. The winner will score the best Tesla, which has also been upgraded with a custom interior. The Model S Plaid is the top of the line Tesla with cutting edge tech, 396 miles of range, goes zero to 60 in less than two seconds, and it makes my wife do this. <laughs> Let's see, let's see if we can get another Add on a cognac colored vegan bamboo leather interior, satin white vinyl wrapped exterior, a wide body kit, and carbon fiber accents, all courtesy of Unplugged Performance. Omaze even includes taxes and shipping for US winners. And this Model S has an approximate retail value of $260,000. By entering for your chance to win, you also have the opportunity to support the Juju Foundation. Founded by Kansas City Chiefs and former USC wide receiver Juju Smith Schuster, the Juju Foundation is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the support of youth initiatives and lifting the spirits of those in need. Enter for your chance to win with my link, omaze.com slash dirty Tesla found down below, and thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Well, in the Model 3 and Y, you can get pretty much every option they have for about the same price. You could get the most expensive paint, you could get the upgraded wheels, you can get the acceleration boost, you can get white seats, and you're kind of in the same ballpark of the price you're paying for this enhanced autopilot, which, as I just listed, has a decent amount of features, but at the same time, it's kind of like, eh, okay, I guess, you know, like I could have all these physical things that may add more value to the car, more resale value, or I could, you know, go with enhanced autopilot if I'm more into that. Now, if you go to the Model S and the Model X, the $6,000 isn't as big of a chunk, uh, and some of the options on those vehicles are more expensive, so it may be a little easier to swallow that $6,000 if that's the car you're getting. Uh, but yeah, I think it's good to keep it in perspective, the other things you could do with this money. Of course, you know, you can invest it. People always want to say that. Come on, we're buying a car here. We're not investing. Although, Teslas are worth more now if you bought them six months ago than the stock if you bought it six months ago. So crazy world, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's where we are right now. Now in some other markets like parts of Europe, this enhanced autopilot option for them is only four or $5,000 if you do the exchange rate. So I find that pretty interesting. I would say Europeans, if you're watching this, like hop on it before Tesla goes like, oh, maybe we should up the price a little bit. Uh, but to be fair, they also don't have, well, they have the option of full self-driving there. I believe they can still buy it, but they have no chance as of the making of this video of entering into the beta program. And so there's less of an incentive for people to buy full self-driving. And so Tesla kind of, you know, threw them that bone and they've had the enhanced autopilot option for them pretty much this whole time. But in like the US and Canada, it's back. And I think it's a really great option. So as of now with enhanced autopilot, there's no subscription option. You currently can subscribe to full self-driving for $200 a month. With enhanced autopilot, there's no option to do that. Of course, you would think if it's half the price, it'd be about a hundred a month. But as of now, there's no option for that. Although if it comes up, that might be nice. But one interesting thing is if you do buy Enhanced Autopilot, your full self-driving subscription price now drops down from 200 a month to 100 a month, which again, makes sense. Um, so you could have that, you know, Enhanced Autopilot, and then if full self-driving comes out with some wicked feature you really want, or the beta gets really good and pretty much everyone has access, like Elon has said, by the end of 2022, they, they think it should be open access for everybody, um, then you could, you know, subscribe to that and you could use some of the full self-driving features for a month or three or whatever you want, and again, kind of not spend as much. Okay, so I do wanna show you actually how you can purchase enhanced autopilot. So going into the Tesla app here, you can see this is our Model X. We only have base autopilot on here. So of course, if you have full self-driving, this will not be an option. And if you already have enhanced autopilot, this won't be an option. But you can scroll down and you click the upgrades icon and then you're presented with this. You have accessories or of course, software upgrades you can buy. So if we click software upgrades, it's pretty much as easy as that. You have enhanced autopilot here. <laughs> a lot of people were commenting. It looks like the red Tesla is cutting off the white Tesla for the auto lane change, which is so funny. Actually, full self-driving, um, or I should say navigate on autopilot is, is pretty good about not doing that. Um, in my experience, I've heard some people 
you know, say they don't agree. But anyway, uh, funny graphic that Tesla picked for this. Um, so enhanced autopilot, you'd click add. You can click that there and then you'd click check out. So you can see total is $6,000 there. You click check out and then your card that's on file, the same thing you use to do supercharging and all of that um, will be uh, charge for that. Now you do have taxes, of course, in Michigan where I am at 6%. So you have to pay tax as well. And then Tesla does have this message below. I've never done this. So, you know, your mileage may vary, but um, you do have 48 hours to return this. So if you want to buy it and try it out, you technically can do that. Tesla implemented this return feature a while ago for some, you know, in the news, like people were accidentally buying acceleration boost. I don't buy it, but whatever, that was the story. So Tesla, I, which I think is the right move here, made it so you can return any of these software upgrades within 48 hours of purchase. So you can try it out. If you don't think it's worth 6,000 or you want to think about it some more, you can just return it. Uh, but from my understanding, once you buy it and return it, if you buy it again, you can't return it. <laughs> so make sure, you know, you're for sure if you buy it a second time that you want to keep it. And then of course, Tesla has the message that this does not make your car autonomous. You're still fully in control. There's no autonomous cars on the road today um, that anyone can use. So that's uh, pretty standard. So my thoughts on enhanced autopilot, I drive on the highway pretty much every day, at least five days a week for work. Um, and man, it is awesome. Now, like I said, on our Model X, we only have base autopilot. So on that car, we don't have the auto lane changes. And, you know, to be honest, having a car with and without that, I don't think the auto lane changes are that big of a deal. Don't get me wrong. They're really nice. And it's nice to not have to disable autopilot just to make a lane change. But uh, I think people make a bigger deal out of this, at least, you know, in my experience than it really is, because when you turn on your turn signal in an autopilot car that does not have automatic lane changes, the steering gets super weak. And so you can break that, you know, autopilot control super easily. And you put your turn signal on, you make your lane change, and then you can just double click again and it's on right away. So in my experience driving these cars a lot as I have, uh, I don't miss it that much when I'm in X. Now, maybe if every single day I was driving to work and that was my experience, I'd have a different thought. Um, but for the most part, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, but again, for all the things you're getting, mostly the Navigate on autopilot is kind of what you want to focus on here because it's the most polished, it works the best. Uh, the rest, Summon, I do use occasionally to go back and forth when I'm not in the car. It can be really convenient. Smart Summon's mostly a party trick for now, but, you know, it should improve over time, although it's been out a long time and hasn't really gotten much better. And then Auto Park, I think, works pretty well, but it's very slow. So you pretty much always would be able to park yourself faster, but it's kind of cool. It works well enough and gets in the spot really nicely. But I know some people don't like it because they think it takes a little too long. But overall, uh, yeah, I mean, six grand, if it's in your budget, uh, I think it is worth it. I do think what you're getting here is kind of justified by the cost. Of course, it's a bit expensive and we wish everything was cheaper. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think that Tesla priced this right. And it actually makes full self-driving even harder to recommend. I mean, way, way harder. You'd have to be a really diehard uh, beta user to really want to spend an extra six grand for honestly just the stop signs and stoplights when you first get it because then you have to apply with safety score and hope you even get into the beta you know there's been months i mean from i think january to about uh june or so or maybe it was may of 2022 tons of people had full self-driving and had a good safety score but they weren't getting into beta and everyone's like i paid all this money and nothing's happening so they were getting frustrated so you never know if you'll see a drought like that again uh but anyways overall I can recommend this one. I think it's worth the 6,000. I think you'd be happy if you already have a Tesla and you're kind of on the fence. Another option is to subscribe to Full Self Driving for $200, you know, for a month and try it out and just know that you won't get stop signs and stop lights. I mean, that's pretty much, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and then you can decide if you think 6,000 is worth it or you can keep subscribing for 200 a month or whatever you want to do. So I'm curious on your thoughts. Do you think this is worth $6,000? I saw some comments. People were like, heck no, it's ridiculous. I'd pay like a thousand, <laughs> which I mean, yeah, I, I'd recommend it at a thousand too, but yeah, I don't know. I think for what you're getting, the prices is, is pretty fair. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one and you will see me in the next video.